<clears throat> I can already tell this is gonna fuck my voice up. What I need for you to do is stay in the bed for as long as it takes later on in the evening and we'll see well the nurse will see if you're able to <sighs> Hey folk, is Sarah like um asleep next to the dryad? I assume she is, but No folks are here anymore. Next to Cade, I don't know what Cade is. Cards are up just means getting character, really. <clears throat> Okay. Kate always gets his leg hecked. Always the fucking legs. He's a courier too. Alright. You doing alright, <sighs> Evelyn? You're going to see that he just has bags over his eyes. Did you get any sleep? Not from what happened last night. <sighs> I almost can't work with all this shit in my eyes. Kyler, are you doing alright? I'm okay. I didn't get hurt last night, so I was just here to make sure everyone was okay. Good. Evelyn, make sure that Kills gets lots of sleep because I may actually try and sleep for most of the day if I can. Maybe go to a different spot and sleep within Ledford get something more out of it because with how tired I am I can't work anymore under these conditions for what's happened last night we had lots that were near fatal including Lucian's and Ian Dills they both need to be checked out quite well Kells will need to be informed of that if the merchant comes back today we'll see if I can try and buy more of those supplies and see if I can get another syringe very soon, I'm also going to need to know how in the hell those syringes got taken away from the broken ass door. <coughs> I suppose this is a better place to sleep, or at least try to, compared to the floor of you. Ian Dill, like I said before, you need to take. You need to have a lot of rest today. That wound on your chest was very grave last night. It was a miracle for me to work on that. Sure, it was under the the yeoman's jurisdiction. Though I don't think he has that jurisdiction. He doesn't. <laughs> Make sure to keep away from the, the royal guard. I didn't do anything to stop him. Uh, so I don't know. Merchant. <laughs> You're just going to see bags in his eyes. Morning. Morning. You did okay last night. You had no sleep. Did okay. No more. <clears throat> Last oh, yeah. time we had so many Tired, I stayed up in the uh, infirmary making sure none of those fuckers got in. Just worried, I suppose. Doing some extra <coughs> <coughs> During that 
time, I believe Probably I for the best. About an hour, an hour and a half. I myself, I unfortunately, was rather useless. Well. I'm glad. I wouldn't have wanted you out there fighting them. Which is the worst that I've ever felt. <sighs> I don't even think There's, I can uh, trust myself with my own. Some business. new posters up on the so, billboard. Leaving things up to kills after the morning. <clears throat> okay. So, I'll uh, take a look. What about disappearances in the night? The other urging people to stay in and dark falls. And the other is a flyer from the Empire. But regarding might have some good news here from what it looks like. <coughs> Byron Gamble paid for his crimes with his life. What do you have in terms of medical? I want to be aware. Yeah, I, I figured so. He opens one. Now he opens the medical box. I'm going to start my work in the fort. I have a lot of back orders. I might come by later. Bandages, materials for splints. I'd like that. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <clears throat> you too. Apothecary can make the most notable item is a clean, recently cracked syringe in good condition. Eggs or something? No, we pop out a stone. Oh, All right, I heard, that. I have heard that. <laughs> I have heard that. The police didn't go so much about it. He's been a bit odd. I don't know. If No, he died on Brunza's perspective. Yeah, he got shot. Alright chat, roll a d20. <clears throat> he didn't die from the shots? Huh. A 10. I love you guys. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do, chat. <clears throat> I want Tommy to roll a d20, and you have the streamer's blessing. If you get a good roll now, the curse is broken. 
I can read it. No, 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 in the night. It is suggested and impressed upon the people of Arlen to avoid traveling You're fucked. or gathering in nights of doles. Sightings of men in robes throughout the outer provinces of the kingdom and the reports of clashes and murders. Local lords are encouraged by the capital to raise their militias oh, yes. and bolster the standing guard through the night. Investigations have been launched by the ruling houses into what or where these men come from. I appreciate that. As much as it pays me to say, I can see that. Fucking only problem of the height. Right. <sighs> Fucking hell. Thank you, though. I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> only could have taken a few more empire rats with him, but he went. <laughs> I need to gather everyone. Come. The man died a hero, nonetheless. Well, <laughs> where would you like to gather them? In the main square. Alright, well. Can you have the... Where is that idiot? Night's Watch gather up oh, everyone. There he is. With, Iris right now. with force. The, uh, right now? Or... No, not with force. <coughs> I have an announcement. <clears throat> Very well. I'll do some rounds. Thank you. Right now? Yes. I'll just get my sword. Kinsman, just saying. That seems like a good idea. Off hey. to <clears throat> Is it that one? Up. Yeah, he's not being what? really uh, hitted about it, but uh, yeah, let's head to the. Uh... What I want yeah. to do is <clears throat> for us to go see what this is all about. Right. So Yaman wishes to see everyone in the main square. Everyone. If you follow down the Apparently, path, uh, head straight within into the castle. New villagers came in to tell us Might have I leave this or something. I don't know. I'll there you go. Sure of course. <clears throat> if you're warm, we can put the bread behind the counter and. Thank you for the help so far. I would appreciate Correct. it. Thank you. I'll uh, be back around. That's not even in character. Such a dwarf problem here. Damn Maybe it. one or two yeah. you need somebody. So well, you have holes in the ground. Don't However, I'll play this. <sighs> what is it? Continue with what you were going to say. <clears throat> Morning. One second. <laughs> Your back's acting up, huh? The voices. I see. The Armin wishes to see everyone in the main square for an announcement. <clears throat> Just letting you know. What about? I have no idea. He was reading the um, notice boards and then. Ask for everyone to meet him in the town square. Which is why I never get my work done. Yeah, I know. I'm either dying, or I just don't get my work done.
tired to even do anything right now. Last night we had too many wounded, especially with the Indil Lucian. <clears throat> Excuse me. I heard <sighs> what exactly happened. All I know after is that you tried... managed to escape after I distracted that fucking thing. <clears throat> well, after we managed to finally kill it, one of, or at least we thought, one of them had the idea of bringing them into my infirmary. And oh. so it happens that the thing, even though with many blunts to the head, it did not die. It grabbed okay. a piece of the wooden spear, and it and stabbed Del Ian Dill through the chest. everyone in oh, the town hall to for together. an announcement. Shit. I guess that explains the, uh, Sorry. <clears throat> <of> our bed. <laughs> Wait. Which one's the town hall? Uh, the... T he said the town square, the main square, so wherever that is. Whichever one he thinks oh, that is. Oh, the town square. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming by <clears throat> the, uh... The, the, the gallows. Maybe. Yes. Oh, there. Yeah. Well, he's out there, so he's just asked me to gather wait, everyone. Where are you supposed to go there? Just asked me to gather oh, everyone now. I guess <clears throat> we wait for hunting. Alright, uh, yeah. Anyone who's able to move the Alban wishes to speak to everyone in the main square. Very late at night Please get the message out. And my eyes have never been so heavy in my fucking life. I tell you what, having only we one hour of sleep. Sure one from what you said. Let's meet up in the yes, but something else is about these damn things. A few of us. Knock, knock, knock. <clears throat> Xavier? Yeah, yes? Hi, I... Hey. Yaman wishes to speak to everyone in the main square, if you're free. Uh, sure. If you've got other okay. things on, I you know. Uh, hmm. The guards will be pretty pissed if I don't feed them, so... I suppose, but the Yaman's calling for a meeting, so I, I don't know. I, he just asked me to go and speak to everyone. Yeah. Okay. How's my Kyla? It feels a little off today, my my voice at least. <laughs> Gathered those that I could find. Oh, I'm so the others should be on the way. Very good. This is fine. <clears throat> It has been, uh, decided that a formal announcement is probably not a good idea, all things considered. So I will just tell all of you who are here right now, and hope that the city guard can disperse the information as necessary. We captured one of the attackers last night, and after thorough investigation, discovered that they are no more than simple flesh and blood. I know that there have been a lot of rumors circulating, a lot of fears about the nature of these creatures, but they are no more than humans, elves alike. They are simply very skilled, and certainly you should not cross them alone. But please do not fear them as beasts of the night. That is the power that they wield over us. So it is best that we do not allow them to have that, at least. Huh. That was all. Do you know what they are, though? Yeah. Mm. So, what reason? Oh, the power they wielded over us was they murdered like 30 guards in one go. 
That is certainly true. Well, that's something to be fucking can... worried about. For certain reasons, they do have. As I'm sure has already been discovered, heightened sense of smell, a poor eyesight. This has been confirmed. Poor eyesight, you said? First hand examination. Yes. Are we even safe in our homes anymore? The militia and the guards are working tirelessly to make sure that these creatures stay at bay outside of the Palisades. What about the ones that live outside the Palisade? Well, I would suggest that during the night, any of those that live outside the Palisade take shelter within the keep. Oh, you, you said that they're outside the, the Palisade. What about all the scratches at our doors? That certainly yeah, hasn't kept sure them they came from causing through. trouble so far. We already know they've gotten inside. I mean, we've the seen the bodies litter broken. out here. They are much stronger than any of us. Or yes. anywhere, it will yes. get inside as well. Your concerns are valid, snap, and no. I understand. But your answers There's... aren't valid. This your is not going to... Your concerns I understand, to... and These... as long as you stay indoors, keep your lights off at These night... These things are definitely not, not like sounds. us. What if they get into the houses? <laughs> what then? The palisade doesn't even have a gate. They usually slaughtered our guards. How can we trust them to even defend them? How many them? was it? Three? Do you think our <coughs> wooden doors are going to be fine? They've, they're going over palisades. What about anything? I believe the point that Mirandel is, is attempting to make here is that they can be killed. Why are you speaking, Drow? They can Go be on, killed. Can speak for himself? They can be killed and we're learning more about their Go weaknesses on. over time, right? I'm listening. Yes, that is exactly it. We are learning about the <laughs> weaknesses and we discovering the more about their weaknesses. What if one of the Let villagers the die speak. instead of just... Well, he's not giving good enough answers. Yeah, you don't let him speak. speak Ando. The city guard, the royal guard, Prince Gavis, all what working tireless. guards? I had 20 dozen. Here we yeah. about there. Two fucking the dozen. One. How many and they died protecting the villagers. 20 for and every one? We have that many? Left. Mirandale. You better not start putting us as guards. None of us are prepared. I believe you should give the answer. How many do you think there are, Dan? Hey, you should be the one on the wall. Um, I am on I the wall. I take you out first. I was on the wall. And I will continue yes. to be on the wall protecting <laughs> all of you. <laughs> My Good. last friend. Oh, Please rest assured that the guards and the militia yeah. are doing everything in their power to ensure the safety of the townsfolk. If there are any what other questions or concerns, have? everything in your power isn't enough. We know that. Ooh. Thank you. I How do you expect so this to go on? Huh? Come to say. We want you to say Listen. that you're going to keep us safe because that's all not what we've been hearing. We've been hearing just more fear. You're not fully answering our questions. What are you going to do to keep us, all of us, safe? The guardsmen and the militia, including myself, will continue to put our lives on the line for the safety of the villagers. That much should be made very clear and very apparent. They are weak to fire. They, for some reason, fear it. If you have a torch, Make sure you have it handy. If they break in, that is your best bet. Make sure you have your doorways on the outside lit. And do not be wandering around um, at night. Uh, if you do these no, things, your cool safety shit, should be uh, ensured. Yeah, no, <coughs> yeah, no, okay. I want to make sure that these points <sighs> are drilled into no, your make head because sense. it is very important. Does anyone have any other questions? Does it? Uh, out about where are we supposed to stay if we do live outside the palisade? <laughs> are you going to provide walls. us with somewhere? Talk to the guardsmen about that, the sergeant at arms. As far as that, uh, for temporary lodgings, I can attempt to uh, talk to Lord Gavis about that. 
In the meantime, work with the gods. Yes, because they've been so useful so far. Those are the ones who were taxing us before. <clears throat> they are those guards on the behalf of the villagers. Yeah, Making apparently sure twenty of them for the one. Stay safe. How many do you have left? What is the purpose of even talking uh, to you? You haven't done anything guys. useful so far. You're just giving us platitudes. Then you? leave. You haven't done anything I've... for this town. As of far course as I not. Concern, I would not love to. It was there. Yes. Mm. So I'm going to. Uh, let me Maybe get back to work. But those things could probably catch you as well. Mm. It's better than staying here and listening to you. <clears throat> if only they were so kind. Pointed prince like. <laughs> well, if there are no more questions. Well, Milan, Mirandel, I appreciate you bringing this information to me, so I know how to defend myself when they attack me, at least. I appreciate it too. I thank you for bringing it to our attention. Some of their weaknesses that we're learning and being open and transparent with us, and doing your fucking best to keep everyone safe despite what people think. Thank you, Mirandel. I'll be seeing you for my homework later. You being detached? Uh, you know, you know I'm what really happy if I have a place to stay the <clears throat> Good haul today, Baylor. Last one. At least for now, I'm missing out anyway. Very good. Tell her now, he's in Terry anyway. Uh, no, he's still sleeping. I don't, I don't think he'll be up at all, all today. Right. Alright. Oh. I'll give him time. Uh, she's inclined to stay. <clears throat> That's <clears throat> Sergeant? Uh, Come on, lads, let's go get hurt and go get hurt. Well, so they actually let you go through the meaning. You tell me it's it's not going to happen, and then it happens. Well, anyway. you did good, at it's... least. Trust me. <sighs> People hmm. can be difficult, but yes. they'll thank you for it one way. What did what was so important that needed to tell everyone? Their weaknesses, not to be afraid, that they're flesh and blood, that they fear fire, that you should stay indoors. Uh, that much I deduced about the fire. <coughs> and yes. the townsfolk were very appreciative of the message. In any case, I, I must go to my scribery. I have... <laughs> I have duties to take care of. They were just up in arms about the joy. Ask me for the shiner. <laughs> Oh, and they, when if you see Kat, send her up, won't you, please? Gotcha. God, that elf merchant is insufferable. Which one? You know the one. Blonde-haired one? Not Wolvire. Yes. I didn't realize she was a merchant. I believe so. Hmm. She's quickly losing friends. She had friends? Huh. Maybe once. I'm sure Justice will find her one day. Erendel? <clears throat> well, she's yet to do anything illegal, aside from being a public nuisance. Mm hmm. Yes, Kyla. I believe some of your information may be wrong. She's not Why? Well, they threw a javelin at me from well over 50 meters away over the palisade. I wasn't standing next to a torch and they nearly hit me. I don't know how they do that with poor eyesight. Unless they smelt me really well. You have to understand that these creatures are quite well trained. <clears throat> as far as I'll go into it with you. I have to 
this moment. Fair Not enough. eliminate your scus what I discovered. Fair enough. Don't need to get defensive. It's trying to help you. I'm not getting I'm not getting defensive. I just am trying to make sure that Sir Winwald uh, notices that I am not disseminating information that I should not be. Do you really care? Yes, I do. Oh. I'd kind of like to know how to defend myself, but that's okay. It is the nature of the creatures that he does not want me to disseminate. But I've been told by the sergeant of the guard not to disseminate without permission from the... There's that whole power here. Very well. <clears throat> how about... How many guardsmen we have left? They've just been picking our numbers off one at a time. It's a 10 out of 20. I don't know how many guards we have. It's got to be low, right? All right, let me see. Something. Well, are we going to get more? We so train it's more. To be a regiment from Lion Hall coming. We'll see. Right. <clears throat> How did you do on your homework? Do you think? Ten out of twenty. I think I did okay. I was. I only did it this morning, I'll be honest, but I, I don't know. I just kind of was a bit distracted with everything. I see. <clears throat> Thank you for speaking up in the meeting. Oh, Xiaoman. I was not expecting that, Ranger. I was quite excited to share my finding. What more can you do, Mirandel? You've told them what you can, people will just find any reason to be upset. <laughs> Close your eyes. <clears throat> it's a shame that you're the linchpin in this, that people think it's your fault, that you're not doing enough, when really, what can you do? I knew this would happen when I accepted the job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is that girl? She is not supposed to be late to her classes. I just let the record show that I'm here. Noted. Thank you. Can can sir uh name I forget also note that. Sir Rinwald, please note that my excellent student is here on time. It is noted. I will also uh, note you on that uh, your other students um friend, familiar, also died yesterday, so forgive her for her lateness. It's my friend too. Well when you put it like that I kinda of feel like a, a bit of an ass. But <clears throat> going to make it sure you can fair, allow us some leeway. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> Much better. Could be at the point of being able to comprehend at least basic <coughs> sentences. Mm, very small ones. Yes. Do you think you're at that point? I tend to pick but, specific words, and I kind of fill in the gaps with my brain. I've been um, teaching you and cats the essentials. Of course, you're not getting a scholar's training. Full literacy a ways off, but I'm making sure that you know important words, mm -hmm. that you can read stop signs, make notes, pick up on keywords, at least you can do that. Mm. 
What a surmise. We're all about, um, you can about at the same level. You should be able to, uh, write simple notes in, in short order. Oh. Just got to keep up your training. <clears throat> okay. In fact, I'm going to begin forcing you to write small sentences and descriptive paragraphs. That is what this new curriculum I've written up is. You're going to struggle at first. And you're going to get them wrong, but the best way to learn is through your mistakes, so. <clears throat> this one here? If you'd like, you can get started now. Yes. Okay. Chat, roll a d20. Mm -hmm. Um. You're not already stumped, are you? No, it just took me a second. That one was a little weird. I'll be right here if you need anything or if you have any questions. Thank you. And I will be um, watching over your shoulders. Just don't, don't be nervous. I am nervous. I'm only judging you and scrutinizing every word you write down. <laughs> only joking. <laughs> I'll give you some space. Come on. <laughs> Do not sweat on the pages. Go ahead, Red. Roll a d20. See how your luck is. What is Ren today? <clears throat> Tyler, do you remember if the break-in started before or after Ren got here? I think it was on the same day, actually. Or at least very, very close to it. I see. What did he roll? What did he roll? I can't see. I need to keep an open door so that I can actually know when people are trying to get in. You need like a bell. Like to attach up to the top pillar with a rope that hangs down so people can ding ding ding. I'm actually, yeah, yes, having one made. Oh. From uh, the Mulgrim. I'm putting it on the inside of the door so that if it's opened or jostled, I'll hear it. Uh. <clears throat> I'm going to be right back because I realized that um, Cat might have been banging on the door. I probably didn't even hear her. Wait, don't go. I need your help. Oh. It was a 13 on the, the work, right? Okay. Fuck, my voice, my throat is just being all kinds of weird right now. <clears throat> it feels phlegmy. I just realized I'm still muted in the Discord because I'm an ape. I don't know, it's just full of phlegm and, and gunk and blech. <clears throat> Monkey. What was that? That's a lot of guards.
iron, iron hole guards. Oh, I guess they did show up. <clears throat> My hands are really shaky, too. <laughs> There's a lot of guards. <clears throat> I did, I just, I did just drink some water. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll finish this up and... Good news. I saw lion hall guards. Yes. Hmm. Not guards, but soldiers. Oh, I saw the colors. This is excellent news. <clears throat> it is. <sighs> I uh, I finished with. I'll bring it to you. you and sit down. <clears throat> it was a little Easy. tricky. It took me a bit longer than I would have liked, but it looks about a thirteen. Hmm. I winged most of it, I'll be honest, Mirandel. Yes, I, I can see that. But it, 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 it's it not works. terrible. I understand the gist of what you're trying to say in it, these sentences, most of them. <clears throat> really needs a little bit of work. Of course, to be expected. And your, um, your use of we is interesting. What do you mean? We was going to Ledford? Yeah. They they took we to the castle. Because there's a group of people. We. Yeah. And I'm talking about it. We. Like we talked about um, the, the, the first person. Um, and I was referring to a group of people. So And I was there. So we. So they took we to the castle. Right? No, 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 no. We went to the castle. We were taken to the castle. You need to change the, uh, the, the the part that comes after as well. You can't just use we. Oh. On its own. Yeah. Yes. All of the uh, all of the words come together as a you know one beast. If you change one part of it, it changes the rest. You just keep that in mind. Okay. But uh, for the most part, not bad. Well done. Um, I did the cleaning as well. Yes. Your 15 coppers. Thank you. Gods. Free to lidge and I pay you. What is this? Well, I, I clean. You're paying me for my job. <clears throat> and you know I'll be more used to you once I know how to read. It's an investment, Mirandel. That is true. Mm-hmm. You better not just go work at the blacksmith as soon as you're literate. <laughs> Leave me high and dry after all this teaching I've done to you. Arn was teaching me how to sharpen swords the other day. I do enjoy it. But I like your company too, you and Sir Rinwald. I'm just... I'm messing with you. It's fine if you learn how to sharpen swords, obviously. Okay. Your path is your own. <clears throat> Did I tell you I'm going to try and learn how to repair chain and mail armor? Apparently it's hard. Is it? That's what Lucian says. Eh. I don't have the tools for it, so I have to purchase those. <clears throat> Morgan taught me how to sharpen an, uh, a weapon. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, this is Arn's old sword that's been reforged for me. <clears throat> oh. And now you gift it to me, that's so No, not quiet. But if you look at the craftsmanship, it's... I a... was there when he gave it to you. It's, uh, that's right, it's incredible. Sorry. It's insane. Wait, Sir, Sir Rinwald, look at this. Look. Hang on, I think someone's oh, knocking on the some door. Knocking? Look. <clears throat> it's a natural 20 it's sword. It's a fine blade. Mm. Craftsmanship is quite unique. Uh, I'm leaving it open for, uh, Made by a dwarf. Mm. I can't really hear the knocks that well. <laughs> with my being sold. 
You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Probably the nicest thing you've said in a while. You finally are coming around. If you can make swords like that to the Royal Guard, I'll be sure to requisition you. I don't know what that means. It means I'll get a sword off you sometime. Oh, okay. You can keep me well like that. I didn't make this one. This was made by someone else. But I'll let you know if I become really good. I'll sure you do the uh, commemoration for Tarek will begin shortly. Where? Well. We'll just follow Xavier. Okay. <clears throat> so, is this door locked? Yes. Right, and I won't have a key even though I work here? Unfortunately, no. That's a shame. But, that means that you, um... Well... If there's another break-in... It won't mean it was you. So there's that. Unless the door is busted again, like most of the fucking locks are in this place. Every time someone breaks in, they just... Or if he's very desperate to get his homework. I really like my homework. I swear, if that was you rifling through all those documents, looking for your damned homework... And I was trying to make a cheat sheet so Kat and I could do well on the next one. I, I'm coming clean, Mirandel. <clears throat> Don't... Do not even joke about it. You, you would have your head. Anyway. Rather that than do your homework. Speaking of which, Yarman, a word. If you might. Yes, Sergeant. You know line hold men, correct? Indeed. Are you familiar? They have a reputation of being some of the most fiercest and most respectable men in all of Ireland. I wanted to make a point that people treat them more with more respect than the rest of the guard here. Because they won't hesitate <coughs> to teach our people a lesson. I want you to make Very sure. Good. That people start learning this lesson before they have to start teaching it. Understood. And I'm sure that they have been briefed or will be briefed on the current situation outside the walls. Oh, trust me. They're a little bit familiar with the things in the night. They know. We Very know good. the situation. We know why we are here. And... Yeah, Very good. I very much look forward to having you gentlemen around. It is a relief to see you. There's a lot of them. So we'll be good. They're good. Right. Continue on, Scribe. Do not let me hold you up. Very well. I'm going to put uh, you and Jack in okay. charge of that. Um, where is Jack? Make sure everyone came back to work. Make Next sure. time you see Jack, <coughs> let him know about the situation with the uh, line hole guards. Tell, make sure to disseminate the information that they are not to be uh, messed with. Very well. You understand we Very still good. haven't been uh, officially recognized yet. Mm -hmm. I doubt many people know Does there even is cannot... a Night's Watch, but yes, I will. Just reminding you. Right, so are they... <clears throat> I worry because... I think that is Xavier. I am an idiot. Or blind. Or both. Probably. I do worry that uh, In either case... with some people, the more we tell them not to do something, the more they uh, intend to do it. But warnings will be given. Especially with you, you troublemaker. Oh, that is there. There's a troublemaker over here. <clears throat> uh, I guess we Only can't kidding. do it in the, uh, the graveyard. Or... We can. Oh, Jack. Um, I was just telling Kyla, I'd like to have you two um, go around to the 
villagers and just let them know. Mr. Morgan. Or just disseminate the information and keep passing it on that the Lion Hall soldiers are not to be trifled with. If I were you, I'd they take a visit will to not the hesitate. Vizier, You'll understand when you get there. If you understand my drift. I get it. Had to deal with them back when we went to Gilmore. Didn't figure mm. I'd have to deal with them again here. Right. But they are here to protect us, though. Treat them with respect. Make sure that others treat them with respect as well. Uh, Alright. Not recently. Not recently. Okay. I'm going to the oh, graveyard. We freshly killed deer, so. <clears throat> it is a shame what happened to Terry. Ah, and there is the man himself. Baylor is in the training ground, it seems. Were you looking for him? Oh, wait, no, that was, um... No, oh, I was Raven. looking for you. Right, Raven. Baylor Raven is looking for you. There is a freshly skinned deer ready for you. I swear, Marindale, even with... Even with only one ear, I swear he can hear me. <laughs> Whenever I say his name, he seems to appear. Sorry, Morgan. Busy, busy, busy. And uh, I understand. I'd very much like to know what the fuck is going on at this point, because I am getting thrown all about the place. I'm hearing of things that I need to deal with with my kinsmen. <sighs> what was that thing last night? An elf. Not from Esma the boss. It is not an attack from Esma the boss. No, I don't. I'm not at liberty to discuss all the details, but just know that they are flesh and blood. Though they have a very high pain tolerance and are quite strong, they are mortal creatures just like you and I, and can be killed. As I'm sure you are aware, having caved in one of their heads. <laughs> Barely. Hmm. The thing managed to strike my chest piece and managed to cut through it like it was nothing. Right, I should tell people where, uh, that we're gonna do it, so... Could you hold the sword for a second? I'm gonna go around and uh, gather everyone up. <laughs> I do have one other question. Have any of the ravens returned yet to the word? I have not heard any word back yet, no. The Rick Rigsmith. <sighs> Are you to commemorate him? Yeah. I did have a word with my kin. Some happenings in town have me concerned. I need to get on top of it. Of course. <sighs> hear that the elves may be sending a party here. For what purpose? For what, I don't know. I have no idea. Just that I've been told that they may be arriving. I see. Very well, I, I have a word with my kinsmen. Yes. Go right ahead. And Master, I'm gonna see if I can find the rest of my kin. I need to speak with them. It's bright. You know? I know. My eyes. Do you have hurt. a hood now or something? Doesn't help my eyes. Hmm. Getting colder too. I've noticed. Yes, winter is winter approaching. Is certainly arriving. Yes. Winter's arriving. So what do we? Is arriving. 
with this arriving. Um, right, we were, <laughs> we are waiting for um, Xavier to get back, I suppose, for the commemoration. Yeah, looks like I won't be able to do it. Looks like they want me to cook for the uh, the new guard, so. I see. Um, that's all right. It gives us more time. Allows Cat to process mm. things. I'm sure she would want to be here for this. Mm. Okay. Well, given the um, person I need to speak with, Selvith is not here. I will um, tend to some other duties, I suppose. I need to stop by the forge anyway. I'd like to speak to the runesmith. See what he can do. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Take care. Trying not to let it get to me. Trying to pretend that everyone I care about isn't dying around me. I'm trying to not care so much. Trying to pretend like it and crush me. I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be cold. Don't fucking tell anyone that I miss you. And that I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you. In so many ways. I told you people would die, but I honestly thought it would be me first, not you. You deserved a lot. <laughs> Did bad things. But... I know there was good in you. I'm sorry that I made you stray from that path. So. Don't fucking tell anyone. Or I'll kill you. And I'll do it myself. Like I promised you. All those weeks ago.
That's like in some like like actually. Of drug or something. I'm not yes. sure. Pick your brain about seed tactics. But I wanted to let you know the things that we are dealing with. We learned some things about them. Uh, of course, they are afraid of fire, it's but um. Grass. It's like I like pipe weed. They are also flesh and blood creatures. In case you were worried that they were. Were you just in the forge? No, I was leaving stone for repairs. Okay. The forge is closed. <clears throat> oh, no one's in there. Not that I know of. I did not knock. Fair enough. Right then, fuck me, I guess. I'm gonna have to go pull my. No, thank wood. you. Sorry, I don't like twings. <laughs> yeah, that Jackie Just doesn't like you. Jack. Yeah. His nerd. <laughs> but he doesn't have lunch money to take. Well, I, I'd rob him, but I don't, the only thing I think I'd be able to take from him is. Sadness. The smell of his boyfriend's dick on his breath. Ugh. Look at that water bucket. Gross. Gross. Fucking gross. <laughs> Fucking. None of that's canon. <laughs> uh, on. Yes. <clears throat> I was gonna have an in canon conversation with you. Are you uh, doing something? Are you annoyed by something? You can walk and talk with me. Very well. Um, just thinking about. Getting a dagger made. Good morning, dagger. Good morning, little one. Morning, Maya. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking pain. <clears throat> yeah, let me help. What am I doing? Come here, first of all, and tell me if I'm crazy. Yes. Right. Um, talked yeah. about it yesterday. I believe we told the gods about it. I told them about it. They said it was fixed. Fuckers. Yeah. Oh, bloody gods. So, mm. Go ahead and get a log and put it up on that uh, still there. See here. Yeah, no, you ain't no I'm not there. I wasn't. I wasn't there. See here. Must have 
Ah, okay. An actual... Where is it? Uh, this will be a pain. God, I'm not a carpenter. What is this, like four different fucking chisels? Since when do you need a chisel for wood? Is that what they are? I don't know. That's a rasp. That's a file. That's a wine chisel. And that's a baby chisel. A baby chisel? What's this one? The term for it. That I don't fucking know. I'd use it to open a wine bottle. That's all I know. Right. All right, this is gonna be no fun whatsoever. Take this. Hmm. And then come with me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Understand that you are the only farmer, right? Uh -huh. This is not what I need. And do you understand? All right, come over here. It's all, right, it's all right. Come here. <clears throat> See this big fucking log? Mm. I need a small pole out of this. One farmer. But an entire yeah, I know. village of people. Can't we just get a stick? No. Have it's got to be treated with adding people. Treated? They like, issue. To stop yes. it rotting? Will be very yes, we dip it in something after we have what we need. <laughs> Are you making a spear? <laughs> Halberd! In oh. advance for Babel. So, I was thinking of getting a dagger made. Right. I have some ideas. Why is that? Well, my one got lost by the bandits. I'm using a fucking kitchen knife from the tavern right now. I'll suggest you get as much done as you can before it hits. Did he give you that? Otherwise... <clears throat> I'm using a ki well, it's not really a kitchen knife, it's a steak knife, but... Technically, they they gave it to me when they gave me the food. You suggest, like, uh, I right. More from what I have now? I've been over- You will return that knife to Nicholas. I've been overpaying them the last time I've been going there. <clears throat> I wondered why I was getting so many bloody cutlery orders. I've only borrowed one knife, so I don't know why you're getting a lot of wood. You and everyone else only borrows one thing. Didn't have a weapon. You come and tell me. <clears throat> I told Morgrim, and he said, We can get you a sword by tomorrow morning. And now I have this, that sword, but I don't have a knife. Shift down. Return it now if you want, or after this. After this, you'll go back there and return the knife that you borrowed, and tell them that it was an accident. This goes against my nature. Didn't change your nature. <clears throat> Point being, I want to make a dagger. We can make you a dagger. It'll cost you a silver. One silver? You, one silver. <clears throat> what if I wanted to be a bit more specialized? Something customized. How so? <clears throat> well, how much is a steel dagger? I'm telling you now, we don't have any steel other than what you lot brought back. I it's pretty fucking expensive. Right. Fuck. <clears throat> um, well, aside from that, something that had a really thin point. Something to puncture Simple. through. Like a, like a mail breaker. Exactly. I would want steel for that, because iron could still bend. Mm -hmm. The other alternative... Should be good enough. ...was, um... 
I'm not sure if this is <clears throat> how true this is to everything, but um, met a thief in Gradia that had a told me about a certain dagger that had ridges on the top that could potentially catch a bleed. I don't know if he was bullshitting or not. Does that sound like something that's plausible? Mm. Seems like a lot of... It's a serrated there. blade. No, no, no. Not serrated. Flat on the bottom, where the knight, where the blade would be, and on the top, it has things to catch a blade. Very big grooves in it. It's to... When the blade comes in, and to twist it, to catch it. Then you yeah, out of the hand. Those are still serrations. Okay, yeah. I don't know if that's something I'll that's... be honest with you. I'd be worried about making something like that with the materials that we have. <clears throat> Too weak, you think? You notice that... Well, the iron we have isn't the best. You notice everybody's getting their things repaired almost every other day. Mm -hmm. Especially when they go out. I know my sword as well. Dull several times and then you can only sharpen something so much and then you have to reforge the blade. If you could get them to part with the steel, whoever has it, I know that it's in the forge, but we do not own it. I could make that. It would take some time. It's been a long time since I've worked with steel itself. Hmm. And, uh, it would be rather expensive, probably about. With the serrations and the fact that steel, probably about six silver. Okay. But even then, the forge needs to be upgraded. Hmm. Before we can even try to do such a thing. Alright. Well, I'd like to make something just for now, then. I have the money to make it just a standard iron dagger. <clears throat> but I know you're probably really busy with everything that else. That can be done. Well, once I finish this... Once I finish this halberd I'm making, I can take on your, uh, your knife order. I could help you if you need it, to make it a little bit quicker or lower quality. That's all right. The polling was the last bit I needed, come on. <clears throat> Unless you want to go somewhere else. No, I got nothing else to do. <clears throat> One moment. Right then, Ooh. take the halberd head from the anvil there. One second. Take it up. The gloves. I remember this time. You're not touching any hot metal. Oh, well. <laughs> Told me it was Just dangerous. Sharp, so maybe it's a good idea. Oh, son of a... But I'm sure you probably don't need it. You're smart enough not to cut your hands. Arnold. It's Arnold. Ah, Arnold. Arnold. Please. Come on, come on. Right, so. Grab the halberd head off of the anvil. <clears throat> Set it right there. Ooh. Put the spike right, under your arm so I don't impale you when I do this. Alright. Now we're going to fit the cold wood into the halberd head, like <coughs> so. Uh -huh. And twist. Good. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. Going to have to take care of the nails. Four on each side. Good. 
good. Next one. If I don't turn it, you crazy fucker. Well, I don't know how you're gonna get to the other side. Do one here and then one here, turn it over and then the same, so it doesn't get crooked. Yeah. What's your wrist? Good. Flip it over. Turn it over. Right. Next nail. So this fucking blade isn't dead then. to me. Fine. And... Good. Next nail. I am here. Good, good. And done. Go on, give it a swing, see if it's loose at all. Oh god. Oh, uh, we can get it. Without killing me, please. Yeah. I'll get it done then. Um, give me a moment, let me write up a record. How's it feel? Feels pretty stable. Good. Very good. You sharpened it before Excellent. you put it on the stick? Yes. Okay. Otherwise it would be a bit unwieldy. So I was thinking. One. Got roll a d20. Three. Doesn't look too bad. But I'll know in a fucking second. <laughs> this is... the worst piece of shit I've ever made. Probably the absolute worst. I rolled a one. Wow. Oh, and I don't know how to tell you this, like... Yeah, I'm just gonna start over. Oh, oh, Thanks for your help. I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh. Fuck. If you need another um, order, <coughs> young lad, to try his hand at, we just received one for a fillet knife. So that may be a good one to for him to. I'm the one that's a fucking warm up. I just went through all the motions of making a fucking halberd and rolled a one. Okay. So I snapped the fucking thing over my knee and I'm Wait, starting over. Wait, that means I'll get you another stick. Yeah. Thank you. I've got so many orders. Halberd right now, again. <sighs> I believe the sword. <coughs> Itch. Did he really have to snap it in half? Like, couldn't we have taken the nails out and reused it? This. I feel like I'm starting to warm up a little bit. My voice isn't as bad as it was this morning. It still feels like I have like phlegm in it and stuff, but it could be worse. Yeah, if it, it feels bad, but it sounds good, so we're good. <laughs> it's 
So I'm like, uh, hey guys, I'm gonna play Kyla today. <clears throat> yeah, it feels like it's got phlegm and stuff in it, which is not good. Don't know why. See how I roll I will? No, because it's like, it's the whole piece, I guess. I think Arn will roll for the, uh, I'm just making a stick, dude, like. Florida just seems humid as fuck, and I don't like humid. It's the worst. Having a bit of a headache one moment. I do not think that that is Jax. You just look into it, but uh, are you part? Are you part of the uh, militia? I was told to gather everyone. Just go building to building and mention it. Yes. Sergeant didn't tell me what. I guess he said the usual place. Probably the training yard is where we're all meeting for the militia. That's where I would guess. All right, I'll finish this cursed halberd later. Excuse us, Rune Master. They're calling for the militia, so I must depart. Rune Master, do I think showing up as a joke? I don't know. It's a good morale boost. <coughs> morale boost? Hmm. To see an old man come crawling out to fucking. some sort of militia meetup. The man who lived. Apparently the militia is being called to the uh, square, from what I've heard. Probably the fucking town crier. Hey, good thing we got... He's a courier. I am the courier. Oh. I mean, he gave... Oh, he talks about being a courier. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Is that you? <laughs> Holy shit, you're a fuck! We, uh... We get a training You're out of the loop, aren't you? I've been here for a few days. I don't know if you want to get back. Come here, man. I need to keep you. I'm glad to see you. Eric's gravestone's up there. It's good to see you. Oh, I know Morgrim's missed you much. I know I missed you too. You know, before Sarah wakes up and yells at you for doing so. He hasn't shot so much yet. I will. 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 I'm still kicking. Well, I'll be working in the forge if I'm needed, but I have to go to this yeah. militia meetup. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got great. good news we'll go for you. Yeah. We need a few more of these pieces and we can get that forge working for you. Aye. Here's hoping. Definitely Let's need go. a big time. Aye. Aye. The rest of this stone. If I'm going to keep people's <laughs> weapons running properly. <laughs> right. Oh, and I hate to ask something of you, but you're the only person I could think of who would potentially be willing to help me. I, uh, retrieved a sword recently, and I was wondering if you could help me, maybe give me some pointers on how to use it. I could pay you if you want. I would need at least one more day of healing. Mm. Understandable. But tomorrow, certainly, I would be willing to. Thank I've you. been getting slow myself anyway. It would be good for me, too. Right. Thank you. Doors. Okay. Uh, 
I recognize that soon. Yeah. You boys know what time it is. It's fucking yogurt time, boys. Does Maya have a baby spear? Holy fuck, she does. Please, no more postures. I'm just leaning back in my chair. It's a broken ass chair. I can't do much. What flavor we got? We got strawberry today. Strawberry Greek yogurt. <clears throat> Maya got the short spear. That's hilarious. Fun to loop a gaming chair. I'll be moving out in a couple months. I'll wait until then to buy something better. On my move, oh, I guess I couldn't ask for that. <clears throat> Bigger play space, yep, that's the goal. I just 
Oh, timeless. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. There's no need to think, because we all love what we do. It just so happens that you guys enjoy it as well, and that makes it even better. Missed the fucking bin. <clears throat> Threw the yogurt container and missed the bin. I appreciate you, Timeless. <coughs> Bitch.